Hey gearheads, welcome back to T-Auto, your pit stop for everything automotive. Today, we're diving into a small but super important component in your engine, the oxygen sensor. Let's find out what it does, how it works, and why it can make or break your fuel efficiency. Let's roll. Your engine breathes just like you do. It needs the right mix of air and fuel to run efficiently. That's where the oxygen sensor, or O2 sensor, comes in. It's mounted in the exhaust manifold or exhaust pipe, and its job is to measure how much oxygen is in the exhaust gases after combustion. If there's too much oxygen, the engine is running lean, not enough fuel. Too little oxygen? That means it's running rich, too much fuel. The sensor sends this info to the ECU, your car's computer, which then adjusts the fuel injection to keep things balanced. Now you might be thinking, why should I care? Well, a bad oxygen sensor can cause poor fuel economy, increased emissions, rough idling, and even damage to your catalytic converter. Here are some signs of a failing O2 sensor. The check engine light comes on, your gas mileage drops, you fail an emissions test, or your engine runs rough. Replacing an O2 sensor is usually a quick job. Most cars have one to four sensors, and they should be checked every 60,000 to 100,000 kilometers, depending on your vehicle. Now for some quick T-Auto tips. Always use OEM or high-quality sensors. Don't ignore the check engine light. Use an OBD2 scanner to confirm sensor issues. So next time your fuel economy dips or the check engine light comes on, don't sleep on that O2 sensor. It's small, but it plays a huge role in keeping your engine running smooth and clean. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, smash that subscribe button, and ring the bell icon so you never miss a T-Auto update. Got questions? Drop them in the comments. We love chatting with fellow auto fans. Until next time, stay tuned. Stay greasy, this is T-Auto.